Well, I have to be up for work in four hours and uh, unfortunately I just sat and watched a 90 minute training session versus San Jose Earthquakes. That was worse than the game against Club America. There's literally two talking points in the game. Eric Bailly hit the ball with an easy chance four minutes in and uh, Andres Pereira had a decent game. That's about it really. Uh, I'll go into a little bit more detail but I'll still keep it brief because honestly that was just dull boring uninspiring like i i know it's only pre-season but come on man like you've got to show something that that was just horrendous no one seemed to give a fuck um yeah like san jose should have won that to be fair they hit the bar and what's embarrassing is at their bottom of their division they've won two games out of 19 in the mls this season so yeah, and they also switched their team. I think they used 25 players. So they took the piss as well, and yet they were the better team. Uh, Lee Grant was subbed on in the second half. He made a decent save. Um, we, we played an abundance of youngsters. None of them really shone. Up. Well, Pereira was the standout. But uh, that Garner as well in midfield, he actually performed very well. He was only on for 45 minutes. Alexis Sanchez obviously joined up with the tour a couple of days ago after getting his visa sorted, was lively in this game, but one thing that's irritating me is that he seems to drop so deep all the time, like, fair enough, this game is meaningless, like, but he did that last season as well, he's dropping too deep, like, you need him on the last man, almost, like, or certainly further forward, like, he's playing, I don't know if he, well, default as a left wing, I think, for this game, uh, but drifting around, obviously, free-roaming along with Tee Chong and uh, Anthony Martial. But, yeah, <sighs> Martial played the full game. He didn't even have a shot. Like, uh, I, I, I don't know. I know he didn't get a lot of service, but he, he wasn't even his usual self. Like, there was plenty of times he was trying to take on his man and he, he was losing possession quite easily. Like, they were tackling him extremely easy. Um, so, I don't know, maybe his head's not in United. Maybe, you know, the, uh, his agent talk maybe that's actually true maybe he wants to leave the club properly but we'll see in the coming days but yeah it's just the, the Premier League season kicks off in three weeks and it, it's there's just nothing to be hyped about like it's just more worry two signings one of them hasn't arrived in America yet. he's still on holiday obviously comes this week uh, that's Fred and the other one's injured until September so yeah, it's pre-season, you know, you want to see all your new signings, etc. Obviously, we saw Lee Grant, but a third-choice goalkeeper is not realistically going to get a game. So, yeah, and we haven't seen any of them, unfortunately. So, it's basically the same squad that finished last season. So, we, we need to get some more signings. Like, something needs to happen to, you know, get the fans hyped again. Because I, I don't want to head into the season with this, like, feeling of, I don't want to say fear, but like I'm just worried is probably a better word. Like I'm really worried because a lot of our players don't look great. Obviously, half of them coming back, uh, so they won't be here for the first game at least, if not the first two or three. So it is a worrying uh, time, but hopefully, you know, the back end of the transfer window, we can get some signings in. And uh, Valencia got injured this game, but I think that's precautionary rather than anything serious. I think he just took himself off. Uh, he must have noticed a knock or something and since it's pre-season didn't want to make it anything more serious but other than that nil nil terrible let's just uh hope we actually try against ac milan in three days